you haven't already watched part one of this vlog, I think I'm gonna put like a little cube here so that you can watch it. Um, definitely go watch that before you watch this because then you might be very confused about what I'm talking about. If you haven't already watched it, go ahead and do that now. If you have, then enjoy the rest of this vlog. Hey guys, it's the second day of my break and I'm checking in because I am actually sick. Like you can hear it in my voice. It just sounds like I'm really congested, which I am. Yesterday I took NyQuil to go to sleep, so literally knocked out. I thought it was gonna make me feel better in terms of like the congestion. Didn't really, but something exciting is that my friends and I have been really obsessed with this thing called Conjac Jelly. One of my friends is the one that got us all into it, and then another one of my friends started buying it, and then I wanted to buy it. So I went online and I saw this website called We. Like this is what the box looks like. It's a online grocery kind of thing. So you can buy fresh groceries on there or you can get packaged things. I just got packaged stuff just because I like to pick out my own like fresh produce. I used this website because they are having a sale on the Conjac jellies and I'm gonna show you what they look like. I put them in the fridge, but this is what the Conjac jelly looks like. This is the first time that I've ever used a grocery website kind of thing and i made the order yesterday and they delivered it today i just wanted to let you guys know if you guys ever wanted to try this website we um they get a thumbs up from me guys i'm so tired so i'm recovering from the cold and i no longer have nasal congestion it's just like i have to cough sometimes and then also my voice is not going back to normal so i don't know what that means but i do feel better so that's always a good thing oh my gosh i'm just so tired like my eyes are burning because they're so dry i don't want to go in but i'm already running a little late the lighting is not that great but I just got home. I got out early today. I'm home at three, which is like never a thing. But I had a quiz today. I didn't do so great on it. So I'm a little just like sad, but also I think I've gone to the point in the semester where I'm numb to everything now. I'm also really, really tired because class started at seven today. So I'm gonna grab some quick snacks and then I have to get to studying. Hey guys, I feel like I never vlog anywhere else beside my car but right now i'm in our classroom we basically stay in this room the entire day we had structure lab today which is why i'm wearing my scrubs and we finished so i'm gonna study in this room with my friend her stuff is here just because there's always traffic going home and it's just better to i'm not gonna come in here guys i'm stressing again i feel like i'm always stressing and honestly i was just stress eating like i literally just took the pint of ice cream out of the freezer i was just like going at it the next following week i have three exams so one on monday and then on monday i have a physical exam practical as well as a hospital visit so i have to go to the hospital and then on friday i have another exam and Honestly, I don't know how to feel. An exciting thing is I used to have these loafers that I got from ASOS and I wanted to wear them for when I went to the hospital and stuff like that. So I bought them before PA school started, but they're too big. I've been wearing them around the house trying to like figure out how I'm going to make them fit. I put insoles in them already and I put like a thing in the heel so that it like hits the back of my foot when I'm walking and it's still not staying. So I don't know what I can possibly do. So I bought more insoles. Guys, also I have like, oh, you can't even see. I have Halloween socks on. It made the shoe tighter, but it also made it more comfortable. So that is a plus. The only thing is when I walk, you can like you can still see my foot come out of the shoe because it's so big. Hi guys. So I'm driving home now. The encounter went really well. I, um, I'm not allowed to talk about the case obviously, but in comparison to last time when I told you guys that I have um, like imposter syndrome almost because I just feel like 
a lot of kids just don't feel confident yet, but I was a lot more calm and confident than last time, which is something that I really wanted to work on. So I'm glad that that aspect of the encounter um, was good. Other than that, I did get feedback and I totally agree with what the person was telling me. And I think this is something that everyone just has to work on. It's not using medical terminology to explain things to patients because they honestly have no clue what you're saying. And of course, they're not going to ask you because they don't want to seem like they're dumb. Whatever you tell them, they're just going to say, okay. Yeah, I have that, but they don't actually know what that means. And so the thing that I need to work on is using layman terms to explain things to my patients, which is going to come with time, but I'm glad that this encounter went well. And um, next up is the hospital visit, which my friend is actually going to drive us to the uh, hospital. So. I need to study first and then after she's done with her encounter then I can go. Guys, do you remember her? She was in um like you're in one of the clips when we were doing something in your dorm. I don't remember. I remember nothing. Anyways, so today we're doing this is such a weird angle because I'm in the back. Yeah, I'm like your Uber driver. <laughs> I don't get why you saw in the back. Because I need to get my stuff. Um, but we're doing a hospital visit today. Five stars. So we have to ask our patients a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll let you know how that goes. Bye. Guys, I feel like I haven't spoken to you in so long. It's November or something. I forgot the day. I'm on campus early and I'm gonna go to I'm gonna see if I can go to the law library to study today. It's a different place, so we'll see if they'll let me in. But I got myself some Starbucks and the holiday cups are out. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Hey guys. I don't really know what I wanna say. I'm just really overwhelmed. And I'm at my friend's Ashley's house. I was gonna get dinner with her today, so that's why I'm here. Hello. Look cool. Oh my gosh, it's so shaky. <laughs> it's so cool. dark. <laughs> oh my gosh, there has to be a better way. Is there anything you want to say to my viewers? Oh my gosh, we're not even in the frame. Come here. I could only come here <laughs> so much. But how are you? Oh my gosh. Hello. This is such a bad angle. <laughs> oh, I can't. Brittany is dying in PA school, but we're almost done. Yeah. So she's going to get a light soon. A what? A light. <laughs> oh, I thought you said a light. I was like, yes. And light. Yeah, a life and a light. I don't even know why I'm so sad. It's not like I'm doing bad in school. Right? Like. No, I think it's because of you. I'm just drained. You like, yeah, you're just drained. So you're mentally tired, which, you know, can lead to side effects such as depression. Oh my gosh. And we're eating sushi. Well, I, yeah, we got sushi. Yeah. Oh, your rice has things in it. Yeah, it's like a little like seasoned with like whatever's on it. Mm. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye. Hey guys. So today is Tuesday. We had our last anatomy quiz today. At least for me, I I really didn't like the quizzes and now that the quizzes are over we have a ton of other exams to study for we have a gi exam on friday for medicine and then on monday we have an anatomy exam and then it just keeps going until the end of the semester but it's starting to lighten up now which is a good thing something that they told us today was to take time for yourself and to make sure that you you know you get your breast and i totally agree mostly because i i am totally burnt out like i know why i'm like that because in the beginning i was so like determined to do well so i went at it full force but i should have known better and i should have known i should have known that it was gonna happen oh my friend and i also are gonna go to trader joe's later because that's our self-care for today tomorrow we don't have classes, which is very strange because that's like the first day 
I would say out of this entire semester where we haven't had to like go in for classes, but I'll be using to study all day. All right, so good morning, guys. Um, like I said, today I didn't have class, so I kind of wanted to show you what my setup is at home when I study. So I have all of my highlighters, pens here, and then this is what I'm doing right now. So I have a GI exam. This has all the information. I'm highlighting like the most important stuff. I have so much to go through. So hopefully I can do all of this today. But I have my laptop on my laptop stand. Here I have Anki up because I'm making my cards. And then I also have a double screen. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. So this, my sister actually gave it to me. It's by Asus. It's portable. So I can like take it to places if I want. I also have my Bluetooth keyboard here because it's kind of hard to type with my laptop propped up. But this is my setup. I just grabbed a snack and hopefully I can finish this all today. Good morning, guys. I am on campus early again because class technically doesn't start until one, but I need to study for my GI exam. So I'm gonna sit myself in the library and, and get all of that done. It's like a ghost, not really a ghost town. There's people here, but like less than usual. Good morning, guys. Um, I forgot to vlog, even though I really wanted to. Today we went to the med school and we did ultrasound practice. So I just finished that. We, we had to look at different um, structures on ultrasound. So there's Morrison's pouch, which is between the liver and the kidney. And then there's another like space on your left in between your spleen and your kidney. And we basically do these things so that if someone comes into a trauma center and there's internal bleeding, then we can check for that. We also looked at the lungs, pleura, so to see if there's a pneumothorax, which is when you have a collapsed lung. And honestly, it was so cool. We also did the bladder, but my partner and I, we tried our hardest to have a full bladder it just didn't work out like we drank water we did not use the bathroom and our bladder just wasn't full enough to see it i mean we saw it but it wasn't like huge and then we also did uh the heart we did the cardiac view and we got to see like the valves pumping it was very very cool and to make sure that there's no cardiac tamponade or fluid around the heart i'm probably saying a lot of words that you guys don't know but it was so exciting i really liked it and honestly like doing these hands-on things and learning about like things that you actually um like procedures that you do in practice that was the coolest thing for me so i'm really looking forward to clinical year because of that and also the summer because that's when we start to do a lot of those things it's so pretty guys it's fall and thanksgiving is next week so i'm really excited things are looking and now i'm going to the library to study hi guys it is um actually the afternoon today i have another one of my like practicals so we're not actually doing physical exams today but we are doing history taking practice and it's a 35 minute exam practical kind of thing yeah so i'm a little nervous just because i've heard i'm just hmm, when am i never nervous for these things i i don't know but i have my uh, white coat here and i have my pens which i need when i'm like taking notes and things just do a quick rundown of everything that i have to ask uh chief complaint hpi past medical history family history social history ros but like within all of these things there's tiny little like other things that you have to ask so i'm just hoping that everything comes to my brain i'm trying to remain calm because it really worked last time when you remain calm and you just you know at like be slow in what you ask and just stay calm then everything works out all right i'll update you guys when i'm back 
guys, I just finished. I'm gonna drive home now. Okay, so I feel like the encounter went well. There were definitely things that I could work on and obviously, cause I'm a student, but I got all the points that I wanted to and the lady that I had was really nice. My proctor was the director of my program actually, which was very nerve wracking. <sighs> But I'm glad that I went well, and that's over with. So now I'm gonna go home and study. Hi everyone, oh my gosh, I look extremely bald. But today I am going to be making a scallion pancake. My class is having a Thanksgiving potluck. We were aiming for choosing dishes that were related to our culture, so that's why I chose this. And I have to make enough for at least like every person to get one. And my class has 75 kids, so I better get cooking. I just finished making it and I wanted to show you guys, so I kind of already put it away. Ta da! I think it's enough. Honestly, everyone else is bringing food, so it should be enough. Good morning, guys. So today is the 23rd of November. It's the last day of like class or school before Thanksgiving break. So I have um, like maybe five days off, which I'm very, very excited for. But nonetheless, I still have work to do, I still have things to study for, but it's, it's just exciting because it's such a big break since the beginning of the semester. Everyone is always looking forward to that. Like all of my friends, not even just my PA classmates. It is so cold today, 34 degrees. And I'm wearing my winter coat, like super long, all the way down to the ankle kind of coat. That's, that's what I'm wearing. Today I also have an exam, so there's no classes. It's just an exam and then I am on break. So it's very exciting. I'm doing something exciting later with my friend, so I will show you guys when we get there. Hi guys, look who I'm with. It's me again. <laughs> so we rented a, um, a room in the library and we're watching Shang-Chi. Shang -Chi. Sponsored by Brookside. Yeah. <laughs> JK. <laughs> okay, you watched it already, but I'll let you know what I think. <clears throat> it was so good. good. I'm very excited to watch it again. Look who I'm with! Hi! <laughs> and we're in Rockefeller. We were, I don't even know if they'll be able to hear me, but we went to eat and we came to visit the tree even before Christmas and Thanksgiving, honestly. So that's why it's under construction and it's not lit yet. We also got some Krispy Kreme donuts. I don't know if you can see, but they were free because we we're vaccinated. Um, and we are just sat down here about to devour these donuts, which will be delicious. Oh, that yeah. So That's what they look like. It's like it's like properly glazed. They do good. What? They do good. Taste really? test. Is it like so airy? Yeah. Yeah. So it's so That's like good. light. That's yeah. Really sweet. Yeah, I love it. It's great. Look how pretty the background is. Okay, peace. Bye. Hey guys, so today's actually Thanksgiving, but my dad's working today, so we are celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow on Friday. Nonetheless, I wanted to document this because last year I tried to make banoffee pie. Um, if you haven't seen that video, it's probably still up, um, but I tried it again this year. I boiled the can for three hours and they're successful. I just wanted to just, like show you guys because I'm so proud. Like look, it didn't explode and the color looks so pretty. <gasps> it also smells really, really good. So just wanted to show you guys that. And if you want the recipe, I'm following a YouTuber named Kristen Johns. So I will link her video down below. Guys, I just got to school. Today is one of the last days of class. So we have today and then Wednesday. Sorry, it's really early. I haven't woken up this early in a while just because we had Thanksgiving break and 
I was sleeping in the entire break. I wake up at like eight o'clock, which doesn't even sound that late, but it is considering I used to wake up at like 5.45 or 5.30 for class. And right now it is 7.09. Just felt like sitting in the car to wake up a little bit. And I can't believe that the semester went by so fast. And sometimes I think that I don't know a lot, but if you were to ask me questions about derm, pulmonary, GI, H-E-N-T, I would probably be able to answer you with some sort of confidence. So that just goes to show that I know more than I'm letting up to know. But sometimes I feel like I know nothing. Tomorrow I have an exam. Wednesday I have a presentation and last day of lecture and then the rest is exams. So we're almost there and people are starting to come now. So I am going to head into class and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, my friends and I are studying. We're studying x-rays and lab chemistries and she's making me tea right now because I'm tired. Hi guys, here we go again with the vlogs in the car. Um, today we have our oral presentation, so we have to wear our white coat and I'm dressed in like business casual stuff. If you know, this is what I wore for my PA interview. I'm extremely stressed this week just because I feel like I didn't spend my Thanksgiving break well. I definitely think that I could have studied more and just did more over the break and I didn't. So that's what bums me out, but it's okay. Um, I came to campus early so that I could study. And where is my phone? Oh, it's literally right here. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Getting distracted every five minutes. So we're gonna say hi to my viewers. Hi viewers. <laughs> we're currently hi, studying hi, for our farm exam, there. which we, um, I don't know how we're gonna do tomorrow, but look at the back, there's a chimney. And I'm mom. trying to find a picture of seaweed milk for Ada, but instead I found why seaweed chips. Tell us how your BTS concert experience was. It was a lot of fun, but I wish I went either every day or one of the other days. I'm going to input a clip from your concert. Which one would you want? I mean, I don't even have all of them, but which one would you want to show them? Wait, actually, I want to put the one from Save Me, but they I don't think they'll get it. Unless the one where they're making fun of Chimin. Oh my god, they, you have to do that one. Okay, fine. Or the one of JK jumping on the balloon. Oh, and no. Falls over. <laughs> All right, Sierra, let's go back. Let's go back to this. Hi, guys. So I'm currently in my attic. I got home from my last pharmacology exam, and then I went to the mall to pick up Tiffany's Christmas gift. So I only have three more exams until I'm done with this semester and I, let me just go downstairs and talk to you guys. I've got one more medicine exam for infectious disease. I've got one more anatomy exam and then one more um, physio exam. I honestly haven't had a chance to work out that much this semester. So it's been kind of taking a toll on me because I really do like to work out. It does help me like clear my mind and just stay more active, which is overall good. So I'm going to try to work out today before I study for my medicine exam. I have this Gymshark shirt. I don't even know if this will fit anymore because I haven't like worked out. And this shirt is like form-fitting it's very tight and even before when i used to wear it it was literally like skin to skin so the shirt still fits i'm very surprised it's also kind of like looser than it was before which i'm kind of confused because 
I gained weight so like why does it fit better but I really love this shirt it's a really like nice thick material it's got thumb holes I have a package coming today because I bought a hard drive and if you guys don't know what that is it's like the big version of those flash drives and i think i got one that was one terabyte and the reason i got it was because most of my lectures are on powerpoints and you can imagine that like the amount of material that i'm going through that the powerpoints are really big some of my powerpoints are almost like 200 slides and there's a bunch of photos bunch of words so i got the hard drive because my laptop i have the macbook air and i think it's like 128 gigs i want to transfer all of that all the powerpoints that i have onto that onto the flash drive and then like even later on when i'm working or when i'm studying for the pants exam i'll have all of this still on my computer with all my notes and i think it's a good way for me to kind of just save everything but also you know this hard drive can be for other things like i'm going to put my video footage on that hey guys so i finished my third to last exam today my last medicine exam it's finished i have two more exams and then i'm done with my first semester of pa school it's honestly so crazy how fast it's gone just because i feel like i started literally yesterday and what's also like weirder is the fact that all of our professors say that from like after this semester it kind of gets a little easier because we've adjusted and we've kind of found our rhythm but honestly i feel like i still don't know like how to exactly study if that makes sense and I know that I told you guys I was going to make like this whole other video about my studying habits and how it's changed from undergrad because it's definitely changed. And I think I'm just going to save it for that video because it's too much to put in the vlog. But if you're interested about that, then definitely subscribe and just keep an eye out for that video because I definitely want to put out as much content as I can during my two weeks of winter break. So if you see me just posting every day, that's why. <laughs> oh, also, I was leaving school today and I passed by the library and my school is doing this like really nice thing where they're giving out snacks to the students because it's final season. So I got a bag of chips. All right, so I'm gonna go study for Vizio now, but I might take a break, watch a little bit of YouTube or watch some movies or maybe even start a K-drama. If you guys watch K-dramas, let me know which one you highly recommend right now because i need to pick and choose i used to just watch everything that seemed interesting to me now that i'm more busy i just have to pick and choose which ones so if you know a really good one let me know down below